Hello everyone, welcome back to E6E. There you go, I figured out a name for the uh, for the series that I'm going to announce this series as now. Um, I've done a few bits between episodes. So first thing is... I've moved. I've moved house. This uh, this little beach hut was not really doing it for us, unfortunately. It's a uh, really good start, a little place. I I'm going to leave this here, obviously. Uh, and probably going to leave all of this stuff here as well. Uh, I've got a little bed in there just in case I want to come on a little vacation, a little holiday. Uh, but yeah, I went and did some exploring. And I found Zork Lori, Lorark. Zork Lorark. And this is in an Aspen. Yeah, an Aspen biome. I don't know what biome this is. Well, it's called an Aspen forest. So there you go. Uh, this has got a little village. Uh, I've been doing some, some bits. I've been feeding the, the iron golem to get him up to full health. Has got a uh, a bee a beekeeper. I don't know how you um, like heal these guys. But that's a really good trade, so we're, we're going to do that at, at some point. Um, I should probably walk around and try and find some places of interest. I haven't actually gone through all the chests yet, so that's, yeah, that's useful to have. No, I shouldn't have done that. Um, I I took off my my luck enchant for the magneto thing because there you go. See, it's if you just right click in the air, you pick up stuff. Ooh, you're also damaged. No, nope, no, nope, come here. Yeah. There you go. Been healing these guys up. They've been protecting me. There's a big old mountain right next to us, and uh, that is where I decided to build. Let's uh, run over to. What is our new home? It's very basic to begin with. Um, I've done... Yeah, I just thought this looked kind of cool. Uh, this is limestone on the bottom here. Uh, I've made, well, tetra. I've got the stone cutter. I needed that for the floor. So that's why that's there and not like here. Should I should swap these two over to be fair because this is more important. I quite like having a divider between the two because... Back at the base, back at the old base, I used to always click on this when I meant to click on the crafting table. Uh, I've got a map here. Uh, this is the new map, so this is where we are right now. Uh, I've just chucked a bed down for now. I did set up all of my processing here. So I've been making some charcoal because these have all, <laughs> all been running out of power quite quickly. And I finally made... Oh yeah, I was going to make some more maps. Nice. Yeah, I finally made one of these um, pretty pipes crafting terminal things. It's so bloody slow, but it it works. So we're gonna we're gonna keep hold of that. Uh, and to show you what you have to do for this. Uh, also, I had a bunch of create stuff that I was gonna show off as well. So to, to look into this, I think it was. Getting st no, it was the gates. The gates. This thing here. Why did you not? I swear I got this this one last time. Pretty pipes crafting terminal. Okay, well we're gonna pick that back up. Okay, now we've got it again. For some reason, it, yeah, I decided not to do that. But yeah, I've got this little area back here, which has just all of my chests and the way that I got all my chests over here by the way is um, I use some cardboard boxes actually we can see it in here cardboard boxes so I've got I made a bunch of these and I just um, chucked everything I could in all of these chests oh god yeah they're such a mess right now but still good still good um, yeah, I chucked everything in all of the chests. I picked as much stuff up as I could. You might have seen that there's a few more cardboard boxes. These have got the beehives in them. Uh, I will go and set those up at some point. 
but yeah, chucked them all in cardboard boxes and I just like came over here and I was like looking for somewhere to, to live. And I saw this bit here was kind of flat and I was like, you know what? I haven't lived in a mountain in a while, so let's do that. Also, this marble kind of looks a little bit like the uh, white concrete, so <laughs> that's why I did that. Um, but you can't have this kind of marble stairs. And I like this like inlaid pattern that we've got for the roof. And these are just chandeliers. Really, really easy to make. The way you make them is just like this. And you can place them on the ceiling, which is what I've done. They don't have like a little chain or anything. Oh, I could get some chain and then put that. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. I made a bit of tinkers as well because I did want to get some obsidian. And I think tinkers is the only one I can think of where you only need one diamond to get obsidian. So in my backpack, you might have seen it earlier. I've got this stone pick with a diamond on there. And that just means that you can mine obsidian. It does take quite a while, but we've got vein miner, right? So in fact, I need to swap this back to shapeless. There we go. Um, I, did, I did go exploring a little bit underneath and died once. And I made a big... Oh, this isn't finished, as you can tell. <laughs> it's still this like horrible stone, and I've just chucked stuff down. But this is the uh, precision mechanism, completely automated. So I put my plates away. Also, this is a... Uh, what the heck do you call this? Mechanical press. There you go. So we could stick an iron ingot on there, and it just goes really slowly, obviously comes down and just goes bonk and now we've got an iron plate it's just way easier than using two iron to make a, a plate and I don't have to use the hammer anymore I'm trying to put all my ores up here um, ooh, I haven't eaten this yet so I'll, I'll eat one of these beetroots when I can and I don't know if it makes a difference but I've been trying to use these blocks of charcoal so I'm going to do two in here and then like three in here um, and I did set the induction smelter up because we needed brass for like a bunch of the stuff from create so like uh, oh, okay I don't have it saved but the deployer at create deployer so this I, I haven't actually been to the nether yet so you might be wondering how I'm got into create so quickly and that's because I did find some nether quartz I think it was in one of those zeppelins uh, there is another zeppelin by the way my map hasn't saved it I don't think oh no it has it's right here I haven't been in this one yet so we're gonna go clear that one out at some point um, where's the zeppelin I think I'd put a waystone down yeah there we go so this sapling here had just four quartz in there. And we are going to get some more quartz this episode without going to the nether. And I'll show you how we do that. It's, uh... oh. If you um, right click on here, it doesn't always... So like if I right click now and start... Oh no, that works. Okay, that works too. Okay, if I come out and then right click, it doesn't let you type. <laughs> I don't know why, that's just um, very irritating to me. I'm, there's a bunch of things that are quite irritating about this, but... Um, yeah, so I'm going to use these blocks of smooth quartz. Also, you can't do the recipe thing on these. I'm pressing U right now on this thing, and it isn't coming up with anything. It's quite painful, but anyway, I've got it right there. Um, so I was looking into how we can convert this, and then I realized that we can do this. We can just use tinkers, because we actually have to unlock now, because we've got this induction smelter. So we're going to... Oh, let's have a quick sleep. There we go. So, yeah, I'm going to get into that at some point today. I'm going to put these maps away. Um, yeah, let's just go over what I've done here. This is so convoluted, the way that I've done this. I don't know why I did it this way. Let's grab a, a gold. So, the 
precision mechanism. Let's grab one of those out. It's a sequenced assembly thing, which means it has to first go in this deployer here. And wow, well, this um, it is a deployer, right? And then what's this thing at the bottom? Oh, I don't know. Depot, I think it's called. Yeah. So it first has to go, you put the plate on here and then you have to put it on here and then you have to put it on here. And each of these hands has to hold a cogwheel a large cog wheel and then some iron ingot uh, no nuggets yeah nuggets and then you have to repeat the process five times so if i grab my gold ah oh, see it didn't do it that time Let's grab all of those and the way that the pretty pipes mod works is it just sucks it out of the crate and it's not quick so if i do request that there you go. See, it pulled it out of here. And it still hasn't got to me. It still hasn't got to me. There it is. Um, I'm holding on to all of these, like, gold items and the iron items. Because once we get into Tinkers, we can smack them down for, like, maximum stuff. If you know what I mean. So, anyway, let's let's go over this. So, I've got five cogwheels. What are these called, actually? These are water wheels. There you go. And you use cogwheels to make these. They're stupidly easy to make. And they make a decent amount of uh, kinetic stress, which is the power in Create. Uh, over in this direction, I've just got that connected to a gearbox, which is connected to a vertical gearbox, connected to another vertical gearbox, which is then connected to the uh, mechanical press. And yeah, as I showed you a minute ago, that's how you get plates. It's just an easier way of getting plates. And you only need one of the ingot to make the plate. I think there is like a little room back here that I need to go clear out and light up. Because stuff does spawn behind this. Bit annoying. Uh, but yeah, what I've got here is a gearbox. Which goes to another gearbox. Which then... I needed to do it this way because... This inverts the way that the water wheel is moving. So as you see right now, it's moving in this direction like this. Which is then the opposite direction on this one. But I wanted it to be... Yeah, anyway, that's how it ended up working. Then I've got a belt, which goes to here, which then feeds onto this belt. Uh, this thing here also goes up and it powers the deployers with uh, another vertical gearbox. A lot of vertical <laughs> gearboxes right here. Uh, this then powers this belt. This belt at the back actually doesn't do anything other than power all the rest of them. I'm not like chucking stuff on there. In fact, I wanted to clear that up a little bit. Um, got some weathered limestone. Oh, yeah, don't... You, you can actually get moved by those, but I'm going to... Why did you not go down where I wanted you to go down? I need to go in here. Oh, you can shift and you don't move. I never knew that. Awesome. Well, anyway, um, so this one feeds onto this belt, which has been powered back here. There is a shaft in there, as you could probably see right there. And then that is moving all the way down here. These deployers, so this one's the cog. This one's the big cog. What do you call this? I can't remember. Large cog wheel, I think it's called. Yeah. And then this is the um, nugget. I was almost going to say ingot. Anyway, so that, that basically goes around like that and gets stamped, stamped, stamped. In fact, we can show you. Well, I'll show you in a sec. I've then got this barrel here. Which, I'm just going to do that, just for symmetry. Although, I am going to replace all of this, eventually. This here, so we can do a shift over here. Again, I need to tidy this area up. But This here has got a filter on it. So what this filter is, is, in fact, I can just... Eh, there you go. And then we can have a look in the filter. So, I believe, when you make the precision mechanism, and this goes round and round and round the 
end result could be a gold plate, a andesite alloy, a cogwheel, a shaft, crushed gold, gold nugget, iron nugget, or a clock. But there's a very low percent chance that that will happen. I think it's like 5% five, five for a few of them and then, and then even less for the others. But we don't want that in our system, like clogging it back up. So that will just go into this barrel here. So I did make a couple of these just to make sure it worked. I made one manually first so I could set this filter here. I could technically only have one of these and it have the precision mechanism in the filter. I actually probably should do that. Yeah. And then I've got this weighted ejector right here, which is, uh, I don't know if, it, if we can see where it lands, but basically I've set it to land back at the beginning. So what's happening here is if we do, oh, I made this, I put a hopper here so we could just chuck it in like that. So that goes along there, it goes along here. Gets a stamp. It's another stamp. You can see the uh, the little bar go up when it gets stamped. So because it's not in the filter, this won't pull it into the chest. The weighted ejector will then fling it back over to the beginning, and then it will go round again. It doesn't go in the hopper, I don't think. I think it literally lands on this spout here, which is why I've had to carve out like some of the ceiling. <laughs> um. And there you go, it's, it's going round again. And it needs to do this five times. Uh, I think that's twice it's been round all the way. This will be number three. And then it will come back to here and it will fling it over there. And I must say, the only reason that I did this is because I have never done it before. And it's always fun to try stuff out. And it took me blimmin' ages. Honestly, it took me the longest time. This um, gearbox here is turning this one. This one, this gearbox is feeding the kinetic uh, weighted ejector thing. Oh, hello. There we go. And now that's going to come around to this bit and it's going to be sucked in. And I think that's... So that's four... I've got four precision mechanisms, and I put 20 of each of the items in here. Um, I did put hoppers here just so I could hopper them in. You can use shoots, and I originally did use shoots, actually, but... Yeah, I'm not sure you need this filter either, because... Well, I don't know. I don't know why I put these filters on here. Anyway. Anyway, that's, that's my beginner's create. And uh, I did get a couple of quests. So let's go to create. I made some shoots because I thought I would need it. Got myself an encased fan from that. It's pretty good. Uh, what else did I do? So, Oh yeah, I just accepted a bunch of quests. <laughs> Rose Quartz Automation. Oh yeah, you can do that with the deployer. Uh, so basically, if I put a sandpaper on this, like put it in the hand of this, and you put the rose quartz underneath, it would like go ch -ch 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 and turn it into the rose quartz polished version thing. <laughs> we'll do that at some point. Uh, I think... I'm going to leave this set up as is. And then if we need any more precision mechanisms, we can come back to this. It's quite big. This is what I was saying about our previous base. Is um, We can't really do much over there because it's kind of small. I mean, I could have built like a big area, but I quite like building into mountain sites. Feels nice. Um, I am going to get rid of the waypoints. These were all the deaths that I've had. Um, I am in cheat mode. I set that up at the beginning of the series. I don't think I've been into cheat mode yet, though. But it does mean that when you go into your maps, you can teleport places if you wanted to. But I'm, I haven't done that either yet, so... Anyway, yeah. 
I think for this episode, uh, I wanted to look at some more machinery. And I've kind of said to myself that we aren't going to do create on camera because create is kind of a, as in, I'm not going to build this stuff and figure it out on camera. I'll do that in my own time. But yeah, the reason being create is kind of like boring to watch as in like the problem solving from create is quite boring. It's yeah, but I love, I love the mod because I can do problem solving and that's uh, a really good skill to have, I think. So the more I get to practice, the better. But anyway, this, um, I will end up probably setting up a bunch of like these automations. We need to do a load of sequence crafting because of, uh, the blast furnace. Uh, blast brick is a sequenced crafter, so I, I need to make a couple more of these. But I don't actually have that much rose quartz, so what we are going to do this episode is... Oh, quickly sleep again. There we go. So, what we're going to do this episode is... Probably... I'm just going to chuck all this stuff away. Oh! I never actually went over what the precision mechanism does, and it has like a couple of like uses that we're going to need later on down the line. If we wanted to get a gun, a potato cannon. Oh wow! Oh yeah. Never mind. I was going to say we can make the flux ball. That would be quite good, but never mind. <laughs> Jaeger shot, brilliant. There's a bunch of like guns and stuff which I won't be creating. I don't think I'm not a uh, Huge fan of guns. Just something about me, I suppose, but... Maybe we'll make a few of the other bits. Extendo grip. Amazing. Diamond Gatling. Okay. But yeah, this... What the heck is that? Tool swapper. Oh, this is a... Um, a cultism thing. We will get into that at some point as well. But yeah, we're going to need to... Ooh, I really want to make this at some point. This is the thing that I was thinking of. Is it? Is it just a thingy or... Yeah, no, we can make this once we make some brass casings. Polished wood. Really? No. But I've seen people... Oh, yeah. I think people have found the... Uh, that. So, roguelike dungeons have been kind of changed in this pack. So you could find, from what I've seen, from what people have been discussing on my Discord, you can find some roguelikes which are completely built out of create stuff. So you can get loads of andesite alloy and stuff. But, I mean, we've got this thing so we can make a bunch of andesite. Uh, andesite. I have got quite a bit. And that's just iron and andesite, funny enough. So we've never actually needed to go look for that. I am actually kind of looking for one. I think Paul mentioned that he spent five hours looking for one, so maybe we won't, but I have spotted this over here. I'm not sure what it is. I don't think that's one of those little towers, but we'll endeavour to go exploring at some point. I don't know what this is either, but anyway, I've been staring at my map trying to find uh, that one. Oh, no. If they've got this on top, I believe that means it's redstone torch, block of gold. Yeah, if they've got gold on top, that means that it's one of the, the towers that we've already been in. The one that is actually in this village over here. Yeah, there you go. You can see it there. It's got blocks of gold, some redstone torches and stuff like that. So... This one here looks kind of promising. Maybe we'll go and have a look at that. But first off, I think we should get into a little bit of Tinkers. I have got this over here, which is the crafting station with the part builder, the Tinkers station, and so on and so on. So I'm going to extend this. All that is is I've dug it into the wall here so I can dig this out. Come back. No. No. There we go. Anyway, if I wanted to add to it, I can just dig this out, put it at the back here, and 
thanks to Tinkers, you can you can access it via this bit. So we will be doing that at some point. Um, yeah, Tinkers. So we are going to need some grout. And I think I need to use this recipe because I don't have clay balls as clay balls. I don't think I do anyway. We do this. Clay balls not found. There we go. So we'll have to do this big recipe, which I think should be fine. I went and got a bunch of sand. Um, I actually went over here and I, I went into the river and dug up a bunch of sand. Is that oil? Crude oil. Oh, that might be quite useful, actually. Um, I do have these Chica mountains right here, and they are massive trees, so I have been chopping a few of these down and replanting them. Uh, so there is a few bits of grout, and we can chuck that in here, and that should we don't have any power, but that's fine. Going to give us some smelted brick, or whatever you call it, seared brick. And that isn't a quest, why is that not a quest? Oh, wow. This is massive. I don't think Tinkers is in here, though, is it? Mjolnir. Where the heck do you get Mjolnir? Mythical botany. Ah, okay, so that's a botania thing. Okay, I'm not going to accept these yet because, well, that one there, you need a morphing tool. This one, you need a mining gadget. I think the mining gadget is ridiculous. Oh, okay, you can't look at the recipe for that. That one doesn't look too bad. Oh, HD, yeah, never mind. And then this one uses create, thermal, engineers, decor, immersive, yeah, yes. I, I love this pack so much. It just makes you look at a bunch of stuff that you wouldn't normally. It's not like, this episode, we're going to do create because you also need to do a bunch of other stuff to, <laughs> to get into create um, tinker's construct okay I didn't do that bit this pack adds in tinker's planner mod this mod allows the tinkerer to plan out the materials upgrades and abilities to be added to a tool to be created to access the planner click the blueprint icon in your GUI of the Tinker Station or Anvil. Ooh! Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I've, I've never played with that before. That, that's going to be interesting. Uh, what does this one say? Yeah, okay. We've already, we already know that. Tinker's Exploration. Tinker's Construct adds some areas to explore as well as tools to aid the Tinkerer in their explorations. These chapters will describe for the Tinkers and the gadgets they can create and the areas and materials they can find among the dimensions. Ooh, okay. Uh, we need a blue slime ball for that. That's fine. We should have a bunch of islands around actually. I found them in the sea I think. So we'll have to go and have a look at those. Shurikens in this, so Tinker's frames. Fair enough. So this is for the overworld, and then that's to kill the Ender Dragon. Okay, got ya. So we need some of these patterns, which I actually already made a few. So that's a quest. And that gives us the book. This book is beautiful, I must admit. It doesn't use the Pacholi mod, I don't believe, but it's uh, still a, an amazing looking book. Crafting station, then part builder, okay, so I just need to grab each of these bits. Come to me, thank you. Stick those back down. Part builder, I put the end, and then think a station, and then there, there we go. 
back to the way it was. Put these back in. So, what do we get from this? Common reward, which is seared lantern molten copper. That looks pretty cool. Quite like the look of that. I don't know where I put it though. Um, maybe we put it back here just for now. Oh yeah, uh, this chest back here is just because I had a bunch of stuff which had already been pulverized. Remember all the dusts? I've actually turned them all into ingots now, as well as like some glass and stuff. Uh, it's not night time yet. But anyway, uh, where were we? Let's have a look. Okay, those are like the fire... Ch oh, and another seared gold this time. Okay, that one can go right there. Oh, damn. I just had a look and this is going to be a long episode because I've just slept like three times and it's ten minutes every day. So, it's going to be very long. <laughs> So I'm going to go and request like a bunch of these crafts. That was five. Let's do six, seven, eight. That should be a stack. I think it's a stack of grout that we've got there. Um, we don't want to make it too big because I think grout, if you put it in the smeltery itself, gives you two. So we're going to do that instead. Uh, anyway, we're looking here. It wants us to make stone versions of all of these bits ah okay well wow. book quest one book that's going to take a while to get here this here is a quest uh, by the way you can combine all of them together once you've got them all so this one we just have to Pour some seared stone over it. And then, what was the other one? Nether grout. Ooh, yeah, we're going to have to find this at some point. Uh, and I think this one just tells you about the melter and all of the other bits. Cool. Uh, that does mean that we're one, <laughs> one grout short, which is a bit of a pain, but oh well. Just chuck all of those in there. This is out of I've been trying not to use my coal because I did find a villager. I think it's in the other village, actually, the original village that we had over here. That, like, gives me emerald for coal. So I've been keeping hold of these because that's, like, 20 emeralds or something. Actually, I think it's five coal per. So that's quite a lot of emeralds right there. Uh, anyway, where were we? We were looking at this. Oh, we got grout as well. So, oh, that gives us more grout. Brilliant. Copper can. That is some molten compressed iron. Does that mean we can make a compressed iron? What do we need this for? I swear there's something I needed this for. Um... Well, pneumatic craft is a thing. We are going to need to do that at some point. Um, anyway, yeah, we got one of those now. So that's pretty good. There we go. Uh, I should put these away as well because... Why did I put you in there? Not in there. There we go. Put the precision mechanisms away as well. Anyway, uh, so we are going to make ourselves a smeltery this episode, which is one of these. So we first need to go through the seared melter, and then we can get to a smeltery. I think that's how it works. Seared controller. Yes, yeah, so we need all of these bits. So I'm going to wait for this to smelt up. Then I'm just going to crack on and make a smeltery or a melter, and then we're going to go through that together okay so we've got ourselves a bunch of seared brick and now we are just going to make the melter 
Because you have to start with the Malta to begin with. In Tinkers, disabled in expert mode. Place first Maori, place blah blah blah. Use Maori controller instead. How the flip do we do that then? Oh, I know what it wants us to do. I think... No, where is it? They want us to make the magmatic. Mag... Magma cruise. Yeah, they want us to make this first, right? Is that how it works? Surely not. Surely, though, because... Yeah, you put copper in here, and then you can pour out of this into a seared basin. Is that how it... Really, that's how they want us to do it? Okay, let's have a look. First off... But we can't get to that, because we need to... Ah, here we go. Oh, it does want us to make it. Seared Mount Earth. The seared mounter is the means by which tinkers can mount materials. Note that the mounter cannot create alloys, da da da, a more powerful tinkers contra blah blah. How the flip do we get to this then? Seared lanterns, okay. I'm so confused. Um, what are we going to do then? That is a thing. Maybe it wants us to make this alloy a scorched alloy. -er. It, no, but it, the, the mount, it's disabled. I'm thinking it wants us to do the, um, the mounter, the, the magma thing first. Yeah, yeah, because what you do in this, you could just put some copper in this. Uh, copper. Yeah, you mount some copper down, and then you can, like, push straight into one of these these things. So we are going to need one of these seared basin things. Okay, right, let's have a look at the magma crucible. Ooh, okay. Uranium gear doesn't look too bad. All of that doesn't look bad. That actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it would be. Bronze, copper. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go off and I'm going to make this. And then we're going to feed it power. And then we're going to make ourselves a seared controller. So, back in a bit. So, I crafted everything for that. So, we should be able to just request it. This is how slow it takes, by the way. Let these fill in and... Magma Crucible. That is not a quest. Okay. Okay. Well, we can stick this down and we can put a little bit of copper. I think it's four bits of copper. Put that in there. Um, did I ever make a crescent hammer? I don't think I did. Uh, crescent hammer. Okay, I'm going to have to make one of these. I'll back in a sec. And that's a crescent hammer right there. Thank you very much. I only needed that so I could turn it. To be fair, I could have just picked this up, but it's always good to get a crescent hammer going. Uh, we need some sort of fuel. Let's just grab a stack of planks for now, because uh, I don't have any logs to burn. I've got the ebony logs. I've got these ones, but I didn't get a sapling for this, and they, they look amazing. Uh, wait a minute. Eb. Look at the planks. It's just so dark and awesome, so yeah, we're going to use that. That is taking way more power than I expected. ATRF, doesn't this... This doesn't make ATRF. Oh, apparently I hadn't picked one of those up yet, but there we go. Let's do that for now, and that should... And I can... Plop that down. Make one of these. Ah, that's why the that's why the quest is like that. I got ya. 
So it's either the seared melter or the the whatever this thing is that we just put in here, the heater. And I can set that to output out the side. That's going to make us smeltery controller, yeah boy. So that is down here, but I need to make this first. Okay. I should be able to... Oh, I need to make one of these first. Did I have a book? Book. Just one, please. Because what I can do is I can remove this. Stick this down. Put that on there. Stick... You don't do that. Is that because you need to be grout? Because if that's the case, we can make some more grout. Grout. That's not it. I needed this one. Start. Oh, this takes a while. <laughs> that's fine. We only need one of you. You can't go in there either. How do we... Oh, we'll probably just have to mount you down using the thingy itself. What else do we need this for? Um, stuff. It's basically used to mount stuff down. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we are just going to pick this back up. Rotate this up and plop this back down. Ooh. Oh, come on. Eh, done. Yeah, why not? Give you a bit of power. Smack that up whilst we're at it. Right, anyway, I'll um, set up the... Uh, oh, yeah, I made a little area down here purely for the smeltery because I think it deserves its own area. I'm not going to do what I normally do which is have two. I'm just going to have one. Uh, we could have two. No, I'm going to have one right in the middle here. So where's the... Stick it there. And we're going to make the classic. Might not have enough of this. We're going to have to probably scrimp and save. But yeah, it's going to look like this mine out this area underneath do something like that we also need a tank and a it's not a it's called seared this thing no this thing seared drain there you go so we're going to need one of these and a tank which is seared ingot tanks not the one we're looking for seared fuel tank yeah so we need quite a bit more grout. There you go. So we got a bunch more sets of that. Probably out of like gravel or sand. But not clay. So anyway, I'll get all of these all up and running. And then we'll be back with the final smeltery. And last final blocks. I don't want to stand in here. Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't have any lava in this. This is a fully formed smeltery. Amazing. Wow, I didn't think I'd be this happy about getting a smeltery. And four. So there we go. We've now got access to a smeltery. I am just going to stick in the excess grout that we've got. And you can pour. So this is going to make us 18. This will make us 19. When it finally smelts, this is going to make us 18 ingots. What, yeah, well, it says there, four blocks. So you can pour them out. And I think this is quicker, plus you get double for the resources. And I believe you can just... Oh, I might need four. Actually, can I use the stone cutter for this? I can. So I'll go and use my stone cutter, and then we can increase the size of this bad boy. Uh, yeah, just like that. So, anyway, that's I did quite a bit in this episode. I must admit. I did a little bit of create. I moved base. 
let me know what you think of the base. I think it's um, a little bit gaudy now that I look at it with all the marble and everything, but I quite like the floor. The floor looks cool. Uh, I can pick this up. Um, I also have a little hidden trapdoor here, and this is my infinite water source that I was using. I do realise that I could probably use this. These, by the way, are also trapdoors. It just takes four glass. So I could have used this, but um, I needed the water here in the first place, right? So I thought, oh, I need to get some water. Uh, we set up some storage crafting. I don't know what you call that. Yeah, storage crafting. We got ourselves a magma crucible. We set up tinkers. Oh, hell of an episode. I have no idea what I'm going to call this. But anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.